Right. It's the longest tunnel in Kenya, around 12 kilometers in length, and is the country's largest water project meant to transport the much-needed water to the capital, Nairobi. Now, the Northern Collector Tunnel is a source of pride for the local engineering fraternity, as it was designed by Kenyans, and the construction, which began in 2015, being supervised by Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Now, though the tunnel is near completion, it has hit a few hitches along the way with deadlines missed and then pushed. On today's national reminder, our own Victoria Rubadiri takes us on the latest water project and the latest happenings. Take a look. In 2016, Nairobi required over 700 million litres of water every single day, but was only getting slightly above 500 million litres. This left a daily deficit of 200 million. The Ministry of Water projected that by 2020, Nairobi's water demand would hit 1.2 billion litres a day. This is where the 6.8 billion shilling Northern Collector Tunnel comes in. Though construction began in 2015, it was a plan first proposed in 1998. The scheme was initially planned as part of the third Nairobi water supply project. The target year for implementation for the Northern Collector Phase 1 was actually 2010. However, when Vision 2030 came into play, the plan was incorporated into the National Development Scheme. The tunnel that is partly funded by the World Bank is approximately 11.8 kilometers long. The objective of this project was to increase water supply in Nairobi County by 140 million litres a day. Well, this was Nairobi Water's master plan for developing new water sources for Nairobi and 13 satellite towns. A year after construction began, political voices began to criticize the project, saying it would harm the environment. The then opposition leader Raila Odinga led the charge with a section of leaders from Muranga County, that is the host county for the water project, joining in. The president must also give Kenyans a direct assurance that he has no conflict of interest in this matter between his commercial interests and the interests of the people of Kenya, and that he is not silent about this project because of that conflict of interest. The need for water in Kayole is equivalent to the need for water in Kangema from a metropolis perspective. We, as the people of Muranga, wanted a clear clarification that from scientific point of view, the tunnel is not going to have any adverse effects, environmental or otherwise. I belong to the school of thought that uh, all resources, water resources, from where they are being abstracted, half of that fee should be paid to the host county. The then Minister for Water, Eugene Wamalwa, allaying those fears. We will recommend that we allocate at least 50 million to each water company, being five of them, we should be looking at 250 million. This will help with the piping because the distribution plans are already there. Despite the objections, the project continued. By April 2019, it was 75% complete, with projections to have it complete by March 2020. And again, the completion date was moved to December 2020. That deadline passed. A 2020 report by Adi Waterworks Development Agency said the completion date would be moved to the close of 2022. By January 2021, the project was 91% done. But in the latest update last June, the project stalled over 3.5 billion shillings. But according to the Nairobi Metropolitan Services Director General Mohamed Badi, in terms of pending payments, the government owed contractors over 2.4 billion shillings, while land compensation required over 1 billion shillings. Now into the second quarter of 2022, it remains to be seen if the Northern Collector Tunnel will be put to use this year, as the delays further exacerbate Nairobi's growing water deficit. That's your national reminder of the week, lest you forget.